Hello everybody and happy Monday. Welcome to this week's crafting week and it's Catherine from Created by Catherine. So Easy Makes Monday and it's a bit of a playtime but uh, something quick and easy you can do which I enjoy doing for my sewing, my embroidery. Um, I've got two examples here and they make fantastic toppers for your journals. I also like to do it on paper so it gives a different uh, dynamic to some of the paper crafting you can do and the papers you put in your journals etc. So it's very uh, flexible in how you can use this and uh, yeah, gives us an excuse for a bit of playtime. So I'll show you these in more detail later when you uh, know what we're doing. So um, isn't it great that David's bought me this mat now? <laughs> Can you remember my rickety old thing? My rickety old little ironing board that kept collapsing or whatever. Yes, so I think that's why he bought me this. So I'm so pleased that I've got it. Um, and uh, I've covered it with uh, baking paper. So um, there's a bit of sellotape tape on there. I'll try not to melt it to keep it in place so baking paper parchment that sort of thing uh, to protect my mat but also you do need it uh, for the technique I've got my little isn't it, did it look at that it's actually for um, grating nutmeg <laughs> but it does for this as well I'm not suggesting you go out and use your best grater guys or your best iron so this one I just it's an, a travel iron and I just keep it for crafting um, I've got the other little one that I use for paper piecing and just for ironing little bits of fabrics and stuff I wouldn't uh, dream of doing this with that little one and obviously not your best iron um, I've got an assortment and I've had these years, some of these are perhaps even the kids. I've got paint in there which I'm not going to use. We're going to use wax today guys, wax crayons. So it's not an expensive thing to do. I've got my own brayer, I might use that. And uh, I've got an assortment here of papers and also I've got some fabrics. Um, so we'll have a look and see how these, these come out. Um, so we'll start I think with some, um, we'll start with this, put it that way, okay then, now some of these have got the papers on and really you know you could do without, you could do without having these on. So one technique, we're going to grater, grater, great Catherine, great correct English, we're going to grate this. Just anywhere, don't matter really. Okay. See, when I purple nutmeg. And I've got my other sheet. Other sheet. Sorry. It is going to be wrinkly, guys. Wrinkle and squinkle. Okay. So I've got my hot iron. And I'm just going to, what have I got it on? What number? That's not enough. I'll turn it up a bit. So, and you know, you can go to the pound shop and get a little dollar tree as you have it in America. Look at that. That's looking good. Uh, you know, we get very inexpensive. Um, crayons, uh, wax crayons. So a bit of orange on it now. You know we should walk right way, right or wrong way, you know, with this, with this soft uh, baking parchment. So. Just uh, give it a good iron with a hot iron. I mean, you shouldn't be getting it, you're getting a bit on there, but it scrubs off. She says, but as I say, don't use your best iron. 
There we go. And see, I knew it did that. <laughs> that's okay. I was trying to keep it from falling off. Um, so that's nice. We'll leave that to dry. <coughs> now, let's do another one. What colour shall we do on here? A very small amount of my favourite uh, crayons that my son bought me. That. You know the one I kept using on uh, December dailies? This is another one. Look at it, it's so gorgeous. Right, okay. Now, I'm going to put, I've got my trusty, trusty, trusty. I don't throw these away now because they're such, such great mats for marking. <laughs> Side. Okay. Let's see if we can get these, if it works on this, if not, this isn't the technique I use with the mats usually, I usually crayon them. Turn the iron up a bit. So I hope you guys have had a good weekend and you're keeping well. Let's have a look how that's looking. That's gorgeous, so we're not seeing that. Okay. So, I want to get that over my new chair that I sit on my new bar stool. Look at that, gorgeous. Okay, now, <clears throat> what, got another one here. What I use this for um, is, oh, let's use, see if we can let's have a look what we've got here. We'll use this. So you can do rubbings with your wax crayons as well, anything that you've got sort of some pattern. Let's swap that about a bit. Okay, so you could get an effect like that. Let's see if we can do it with... This is my favourite. <laughs> so you don't even have to melt it to get this effect and I love using that for stitching on. Okay, now then let's have a look with me. <coughs> Excuse me twizzling it round so we get in all different directions so if you're ever frightened of starting slow stitch don't be and I know it's a bit daunting when you see um, a blank piece of fabric but look just that you're not blank anymore so you've got some lines that you can follow even if you've been doing it for years it's a lovely effect okay so now we've got some um take this out of the way some packaging now from you know what you get in your amazon parcels i just love the color the send is some lovely some lovely uh packaging lately right okay so this is where it gets scary now let's get this i think this is a oh Okay, can you see that? Oh, and there's Nelson. Thank you, Nelson. Uh, orange. Let's 
So if you can't, you know, we don't have to spend loads of money on different inks. If you've got a cheap pair of... Cheap pair? <laughs> cheap pair. Right. Ideally, you want an old iron that's not um, steam. I don't have this on steam. But... Um, They're very hard to find now. It doesn't matter if you get it on this grease proof either because you can use it afterwards. So let's just do another ring on there. Okay. Let's wipe that off on that. Okay. There we go. So you could get all sorts of uh, different effects. Now we're going to do it on some fabric. Got in here. Well ventilated room, I think that's uh, that's the answer. But we can't get to it. <laughs> it's better. It's because there was some still on it and it was burning it. <laughs> now, if I'm burning anything else apart from wax, I always put. Um, Okay then, so sorry about that, they came to collect the printer, yay! About 10 days time, hopefully it will be good as new. So, let's have a look at that. Okay, I'm going to put some sprinkles on now I think. Do I like that, we'll have a bit of black. I've got some green coming out from before. Step me. Don't forget you need your grease proof on top of it, really. So, you know, you don't want to bump your iron up too much because even if you're only using it for, for playtime, you don't want it to be. Uh, that's cool. There we go. It's lovely and sunny again, guys. Lovely and sunny. Very cool wind here with us being near the sea, but I'm not complaining. Wow, that's giving it a gorgeous, gorgeous. It's metallic. I put use the metallic colour and that black. That black's gone on beautiful. I love that. Now, I've got a bit of wallpaper. Now, this is what we call anaglyptor in the UK. I don't know if you call it anaglyptor anywhere else. It's like got the raised bobble pattern on it. Um, now, let's just see if it will take any of this. Look, let's look. So there's still plenty left on. Let me move my, I don't want to be melting my plastic box when my things in it, do I? Now, it's actually flattened the pattern. <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised at that. I should have known it had flattened that pattern. That's what irons are for, you silly girl. Right, let's have a look at this now. Let's, uh, let's do something. What else have I got in here? Oh, this is my other one I found. This is my other one. It was a set of three. And I only use it sparingly now, don't like that cracky. Why has that got my black colour? Must be a lot of black in that. It's picked up the grey from something else, but hey, I wish I'd alter it. 
I like how it's taking it up there. So I'm going to grater it because I, can't, I don't want to use it with all that mess on it, do I? Oh, there is a lot of black. Look, there is a lot of quite, or is it purple? So let's see, grated some on now. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Actually, the middle, there's some gorgeous colours in there. And then uh, perhaps, i tell you what would be nice with that. See how flat it's gone and how the grease has gone through. That would be great with, um, you could try embossing that. I'll have a go at that and see. Now, I just want a bit more green in there. Now, so let me just see if we can get a bit more green on it so it's not too black looking although there's loads of dark coming off this surprising what's packed into these I don't know where my son got them from I've had, I'm, I, he got them a few years ago and I'm eking them out because they're my favourite Gorgeous. Look at that. Love that. Love that. That's going to be sewn on, I think, that paper. Right, have I got any other scraps? I'm enjoying myself too much here. <laughs> Let's put, see, we can just get rid of any loose bits off there. Yeah, my iron won't need much cleaning. And if you wipe it off, the majority of it off on your proof paper, a baking carton. Yeah. Got a bit more colour on there. And a um, bit of pink bracering. So that's two ways you can use your wax. I shall got some more things that we can do with at a later stage. Because I just think they're an inexpensive way. You don't even have to have any paints, do you? Oh, look at all that inside there. <laughs> oh, see why you have to get... Uh, I don't want pink bits in my grated nutmeg, do I? Hey. Right. There we go. So I hope this has been fun for you and gives you the inspiration to go and have a have a play get you now i'm not i'm not saying go and take your children's wax crayons off them girls no would i suggest something like that <laughs> ah, wonderful how nice is that great right I'm going to turn my iron off now because it's hot enough now. It's ugh, that's the adapter and it's uh, stiff. Okay, so we haven't made too much mess really. And uh, save this, you know. Can I save this and you can cook it up, use it another day. Still quite a bit on there you could use. Right, so mucky hands. So just again to bring in the pieces that I've done. So these are all waxed background, very heavily waxed there. Um, and then I've, I've done machine sewing on this and beadwork. But what a gorgeous, you know, what a gorgeous topper to uh, a journal. Let me just get this there, I'm doing that in a minute. Now that's your journal. How gorgeous is that? And then this one. So this is more oranges and I've used a different technique there which I'll also show you another day. 
and put beads on and sewn into that one as well so it's got some pinks and uh, yellows so if you don't sew that's fine so if you don't sew <laughs> oh dear to say I'm English my English is shocking <laughs> um, you don't have to sew do you you know you can just put these in your journals if you want you could even just as simply as just using it as a tuck you know a, a, a flipping you could do this and you could just find a page and just do it as a tipping and how lovely is that or you know like this piece bit of a page in there I know um, go and check out uh, you probably already have but Tracy at uh, Love Junk Journals she's doing loads of stuff uh, with painting and mark making and Rachel's been doing some stuff as well and um, I mean Artie Mays Andrea Artie Mays is always doing stuff like this uh, she's very much the queen of uh, mixed media is is but I love that, look at that, you probably can't see it on camera but the the glittering of that even looks like a fish oh and that looks like a shell oh watch this space it may well end up in my uh, aquatic wow anyway <laughs> I'm going carried away now um, so yeah you know that's all nice and dry and sealed now and what a gorgeous uh, you know rip it up collage with it so there it we go that's my easy makes monday for this week um hope you'll agree it is easy enough to do you've just got to have you know old iron and, and your grater and uh, cheap and cheerful wax crayons and um you know you can spend an hour and you've got a big stack of stuff to use in your journals or your sewing projects so thank you very much as always for joining me i want to say a big thank you to tina at shabby dabby doodah not that she she necessarily be watching this bless her i'm sure you all know tina she's uh, just reached thirty thousand subscribers and uh, if you don't uh, you haven't come across her channel go and give her some love she's having a bit of a hard personal time at the moment and uh, i think she'd appreciate that and uh, she gave me a shout out in her latest video so uh, i sent her some fabrics oh months ago now i'd forgotten i'd sent them and uh, yeah she's given me a lovely shout out and you need to watch it because uh, not because she's given me a shout out but she's got the most gorgeous somebody one of her subscribers has sent the most gorgeous book for a daughter a real lovely interactive book that you know, a doll's house book and it's so joyous to see a daughter excited about it it sort of brightened our morning up really it made us both smile and uh, my kids used to love the jolly christmas postman and the jolly postman because there's so much interactive things in there so thank you for joining me and i'll see you all tomorrow for slow stitch and chat bye for now love to you all Thank you.